Trent Forward. Oh, there's Doug. Hey, Doug. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of uh, members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or visual recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, we'll call the meeting to order at 5.34 p.m. and take a roll call of attendance. Hallie? Here. Gaston? Here. Doug? Here. Oh, you're muted, Doug, but we're here. <laughs> okay, one minute. Does that count as here? Yeah. Here. yeah and vote. then, and I can, I'm here, so that's Fine. four uh, present, one absent, but we do expect Dylan. Um, okay, so next up is public comment. Um, this is general public comment unrelated to anything on the agenda. So if you have that kind of comment, please raise your hand by pressing the right hand raising button at the bottom of the screen. And I don't know, do we have anyone here? Any hands up among attendees? No. Okay. All right, great. So moving on. We go to uh, licenses, application by farmer winery to sell at farmer's market, Laurie Perkins doing business at home fruit as home fruit wine. And is Laurie Perkins here? Oh, yes. Steve, could you? It is, I've just invited her to um, Great. be able to speak. Okay. we go. Hi, Lori. Hello, can you hear me oh, now? Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Thank okay. you. Hi. Uh, <laughs> thanks for coming. Welcome. And so this Thank is something. Me. Yeah, of course. This is something you've done in the past several Correct. times, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. And so this is just a continuation of what you have done in years past. Has anything changed um, this year? No, I don't think so. We've done the same thing every year. Either David or I will go to the market. We're both listed as um, salesmen on there. Right. Um, so he usually goes, but if there's Saturdays, he can't, I go. Okay. Um, so other than that, nothing's changed for on our end. All right. Great. Um, does anyone have questions about this? No. If not, is there a motion to approve uh, the application by um, the Home Fruit Wine Farmer Winery license at the Amos Farmers Market? So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Gaston. Uh, any further discussion? If there's not, we'll take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Gaston? Aye. Doug? Right, Doug says I, and I say I. That is four to zero with one absent, and the license is approved. Thank you so much, Laurie, and uh, best of luck for the season. Thank you. Um, I have one question. Um, yes, I, I should have asked it before you voted, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, they're working on trying to get a winter market in Amherst, and if that happens, would we need to get um a license for? each one if it's in a different location. I believe so, but that's a Steve, is that correct? There'd be need to be a different license? Because in the a, winter they wouldn't have it on the common, you know? Right. That's a great question, Lori. Um, I will have to do a little bit of research for that. We've actually, in my time here, not had any farmers markets, but that on the common. So if you can just um, shoot me an email, I'd be happy to, to look into that and get back to you. Okay. I know David was looking into it and I don't know if they secured a location yet for a winter one. Um, but I know they wanted to try to keep it in Amherst. Okay, yeah, that would be great. Um, yeah, that'd be yeah. that would be new to us. So um I'd be happy to look into that for you. Okay, thank you so much. 
Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thank okay. You Hope to see in. you at the market. Yes, definitely. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay. So next up is um, the Common Victuals License Renewal Application Oyster Bar LLC. And Steve, is there anything on this? No, just another particular uh, renewal. Okay. They are, when are they opening? Do they I open? actually um, went to protocol with a friend last night and we oh. were talking to the bartender and he thinks end of May. I guess there's some pieces of furniture that are not ready, but they're starting to staff and menu plan and look at vendors. So, okay. All right. Well, that's good. That's good news. Um, great. So, um, are there any questions about, did you submit a, the renewal to us, Steve? We didn't get that in the packet, right? No, but I generally like... weren't, so I wasn't sending the renewals. Okay. Um, if it was, if there was no changes, there was no changes with this one from last year. Okay. Great. Well, um, if there are no questions, is there a motion to approve the, um, common Vic license renewal for the oyster bar? So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Gaston. Um, if there is no further discussion or any questions, we'll take a vote. Um, Hallie? Aye. Gaston? Aye. Doug? Doug votes aye. And thumbs up. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. And that has been renewed. The Amherst Oyster Bar LLC opening in May, hopefully. Okay, okay. great. Um, all right, next up is special short term license applications SST 24 17 Lev Ben Ezra Amherst Survival Center, Wine and Malt, April 6th, 2024, 12 to 4 in the afternoon at 138 Sunderland Road. Is there somebody here for that, Steve? There is. We have uh, Sam here. I've invited him to talk. Fantastic. Hi, folks. Hi, Sam. Hi. Welcome. Hi. So could you please let us know a little bit about your event? Yeah, absolutely. So this is our uh, 16th annual Empty Bowls fundraiser. It's our seasonal spring fundraiser for the Amherst Survival Center. Um, third or fourth year that it's been held on site at the center itself, and second year that we're proposing a short-term wine and malt license. Um, so it's called four on that Saturday. We expect around 300 to 400 attendees over the course of the day. Um, food and adding wine to add some dimension to the event. Okay, great. Thank you. And uh, did everyone have a chance to look at the application? And if so, are there any questions about the application? No questions no. from, no from questions. me. I, I guess one question out of curiosity, I'm, I'm just uh, given that nonprofits can get the full liquor license. I'm just curious if that's something that you consider. I, 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 I take it it's a lot more complicated and, and maybe not even what is a kind of fitting for the event. I'm just a curiosity question. Yeah, um, I think wine and malt is, is easiest for us and it's it's sort of a new aspect to the event. Um, so last year it was you know moderately successful and we're curious to see where it goes again after the second year. But being a daytime event, it's uh, no, slightly less of an appetite. So it's nice to have the wine, but we don't feel the need to seek a full license. Fair, fair enough, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, any other questions about this? If not, is there a motion to approve the short term? Um, hold on. SST dash, is it 24 17? Yes. Amherst Survival Center. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, if there are no other questions, we'll take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Gaston? Aye. Doug? Thumbs up from Doug. Um, Dylan. Uh, I wasn't here, so I will abstain. Okay, abstain, and I will vote aye. So that is four in favor, one abstention, zero against, and the license is approved. Thank you so cool. much for coming in, and best of luck with the event. Thank you, folks. Okay.
All right, num next one is SST-24-19, Michelle Cahan, Hitchcock Center for the Environment, All Alcohol, June 20th, 2024, 6 to 9 p.m., 10 East Drive, Amherst College, Powerhouse. And is somebody here for that? Yes, I have invited Mr. Spitzer to speak. Okay. Hello, Mr. Spitzer. Hey. Um not Mr. Spitzer. Hold on. Oh, I can't I couldn't read my job until now. <laughs> um that's funny. Um yes, this is here's my video. Okay. Hi. Hello. Oh, um, hi. I'm, I'm Casey BB, um, community programs and special events manager at the Hitchcock Center. Oh great. Oh, welcome. Um, so did you could you tell us a little bit about your event, please? Yeah, so um, the Battle of the Botanicals is an event we held from 2016 to 2019 at the Powerhouse at Amherst College, um, and it's a fundraiser, um, a restaurants, and um, so we have seven restaurants participating, so they all come um, and uh, create a, a cocktail and a little bite around a botanical feature. It's a ticketed event. Um, we, uh, the liquor provider, the spirit sponsor this year is um, Berkshire Mountain Distillery and Berkshire Brewing Company. Um, so, you know, all of, of course, all of the restaurants are, you know, serve safe and, you know, um, tip certified because they're all bartender, you know, professional bartender. Um, and yeah, so I, I can say a lot more about what, what questions are relevant to this. Um, so this is, so you said you did this for three years and then interrupted by the pandemic, four. obviously, right? Exactly. Oh, four yeah. years. Okay. And then interrupted. And so this yeah. is the first year back at doing it again. Right. Or, okay. Yep. Great. And you sent around a map, little map went around. Where is the yeah. powerhouse? Where is this? Is that? So the powerhouse is on Amherst college. It's, it's down by the train tracks. Um, oh, right. It's, I guess it used to be a powerhouse, the powerhouse, but they've okay. turned it into a venue it's a very cool venue. So it's very, um, so it has a, you enter on the second floor and then it's sort of down, you go downstairs and it's all one floor and then it opens out into sort of a closed patio. Um, and so okay. we would be using that whole space, but it's very, very contained. Even the patio okay. has sort of a, a berm. Um, so it's very sort of distinct. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Um, are there any questions about this license or not if there are no questions comments okay is there a motion to approve sst-24-19 so move so move all right who was that second was that who seconded <laughs> was that done? Uh, doug did oh okay great um any further questions if not we'll take a vote hallie aye aye, aye. guest on Aye. Doug. Aye. Uh, Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. Uh, the license is approved. Thank you so much for coming in. And thank uh, you. Good luck with your event. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Um, licenses section D. Seasonal liquor license renewal applications. Town of Amherst doing business as Cherry Hill Golf Course, and this is just their standard seasonal renewal. It is and um sorry who who was the official mover and seconder for the last application? I think it, I think Doug was the mover and no Dylan was the mover and Doug was the seconder. Okay, is that correct? Thank okay. You. And yes, this is just the uh, the standard seasonal license renewal for um, the Cherry Hill Golf Course. Um, they are a seasonal license, so that happens in March instead of in uh, December. Right. Okay. Um. If, are there any questions about Cherry Hill's seasonal liquor license? If not, is there a motion to approve? Oh, no move. <laughs> who, who wants the who wants to be the mover on that one? Do, I'll, Dylan I'll made make the it motion. easy on Steve. If I got the All first right. one, I'll I'll let Steve copy and paste. I'll okay, take the move. And, and, and I'll the, second. And Doug made the second. All right. If there are no questions, we'll take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Doug. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. The license is renewed. Okay. 
Uh, moving on, discussion topics, marijuana regulation. Steve, has there been an update? Uh, we are still um, working on things on the staff side. I do have a call with um, the building commissioner and our, one of our KP law attorneys tomorrow morning to clarify a few questions, but we will, we have already reviewed the um, zoning bylaw and identified some changes we'll have to make. This is all in, in uh, reference to the, the CCC's changes. Um, that we will have to come into compliance to. And a part of that, I believe, we'll be moving forward with the licensing. Um, and um, we are we are still moving forward with all of that. Um, in ter terms of the normal licensing and regulation, um, in terms of the hemp-derived products, um, I do not have any um, particular updates. I do have a draft of the letter to the off-premises licensees we can review, and Marion did send me along a draft of the letter to the uh, legislators. So um, if, if the board would like to review those or has any questions or anything else. Um, do you want to send them around so that? Yeah, would people prefer me to e email them to everybody right now or to share them on my screen? What do you think? Oh, guess I'm okay. looking at it on the screen. Okay, yeah. let, me, All right. um, let me pull, I'll pull up the, off premises one first. Uh, uh, question the uh, the package store. So who who are the targets for the various letters? Just to know what the how, how we're calling the establishments. So I believe at this point, this letter would be for off-premises licensees. Um, I think our okay. consensus last time was that we don't even want yeah. to um, imply to on-premises licensees right, right. that, that no, no, want to be yeah. okay. Right. I was just thinking through the head, my head, where, where are we aware of this? And I guess the only place I'm aware of personally is provisions, but we heard about some corner store or something but we don't have uh, a license with them, right? Yeah, there is a um, tobacco shop that that has it that we do not we do not license. Okay. Uh, yep, that uh, looks fine to me. Yeah, it looks good. Yep. Uh, right. the, I guess the only question is if we want them to to report to us, besides just giving them this oh. warning. Do we want them to tell us if they're selling this stuff? I mean, we could ask, but that doesn't mean they'll do it, right? And... Were we going to have a in-person meeting in a month that we could say you're welcome to attend if you have any questions or concerns? Yeah, we oh, could. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. But if we pick one meeting so that everybody who gets it can come at the same time, that would probably be the most efficient. Yeah, I can certainly um, say that if yeah, any questions or concerns, you can come along to um, our next meeting. And I think we will determine what day that is later in this discussion topics. But I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. um, any other questions about this to add? No? Okay. Thank you, Steve. That looks good. Thank you. And I will share the other one. I like the title on this one, Delta 89. Sounds like an Oldsmobile for guys. I, know, right? <laughs> I didn't want the, the name to be too who, long. Who does this one go to? This is going to the legislators, Mindy Dom, okay. Joe Comerford, and what's his name? Okay. McCarthy something? Uh, Jim McGovern. McGovern. Jim McGovern. Sorry. Yeah. Not Steve McCarthy, Jim McGovern. <laughs> okay. So, it's good to me. Look okay? Maybe include our state senators too, Elizabeth Warren and blanking on the other guy's name right now. Ed Marquis. 
Yeah, we could include all of those, like send one copy to each person. Yeah. Okay, well, great. All right, good. All right, well, thank you. Um, super, well, that's done. Um, let's see, marijuana, wage law violations. So Steve, you said you tried to call Paul Tupa? Yes, I have reached out to him. I have not heard back yet. So um, I will continue to reach out to him. And I believe the consensus we reached last time was to invite him to a, um, invite him to discuss what had gone on with the board in um, a way that it was non-disciplinary at this point. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'll, I'll see if he is able to come to our um, next meeting. Right. Okay. I mean, just like a, just a friendly conversation, really, I think. If they're willing, would be great. Okay. Good. And then um, following upon that is the liquor license application supplement, which is that bit we're going to attach. Yes. So um, I do not have a, a full draft ready yet, but what I envisioned that to be would be um, just a document clarifying some that would be you know given to applicants to uh, clarify some some questions that we uh, may have uh, with clarify some answers that we may have questions for, um, such as hours is one thing that is bafflingly not included on in the state applications. Um, mm -hmm. Also, how on-premises licensees intend to comply with the alcohol food service regulations. Right. Um, would be and then they ask. were going to dis disclose any wage law, uh, pending wage law violations, or yes. have they received a, um, a citation recently? Yes. I don't know if we want to say, like, not in, like in the past, like, is it ever they've ever received one or just like, say, in the past five years or do we want to I, put a, a I guess I'll pull whatever is in the um, I believe there was some language to that effect in the wage and um, and tip theft bylaws. So I'll see if I can try to put that in parallel with that okay. um, because we're really trying to get them to comply with that because that does require them to disclose those things. But we don't ask anywhere. So, OK. All right. Great. OK, thank you. Um. Let's see. Okay, next up, meeting times. So, some uh, Doug, I, Doug, are you having a conflict with meeting times Thursdays at five thirty? Thursdays and five thirties are generally fine for me. I mean, as far okay. as you know, I mean, stuff comes up and uh, and time will get filled if not with this. So, right, you know, it's really okay. Okay. Because I thought there was another meeting scheduled around the same time that oh that um, someone was having an issue with, and we were going to discuss whether or not we should shift this meeting to another day or another date and time. But no, yeah. everyone seems to have a has no. Yeah, for me, it's fine. It's for you. It's fine. I don't have anything. Right. Okay, great. Um, a guest on, you're muted. Uh, which day are we talking about? We're, the, we're uh, sticking with Thursdays at 5.30. Yep. So is that working for you too? Uh, yeah, I'm just, just looking at which which uh, actual date is our next meeting. Oh, I think it's, um, let's see, it would be the third, no, sorry. It would be the 11th of April in okay. person. Okay. And then we do the 25th on Zoom. All right. Um, okay. Just, I mean, I... I don't expect it's an issue, but I have a 7 p.m. Zoom affordable housing trust on the 11th. Okay. But I oh, I so you've got to you've got to so you've got to leave and then get back home and yeah, I mean yeah, it, yeah. so I'll, I'll I okay. guess I I I'd be I'd have to go by like quarter to seven. Okay, all right. I don't but wouldn't think that that's... be a, a remote one anyway, or is that the 11th yeah. is our in person? Right. Yeah. So the 25th would be. Oh, I thought we were talking about the 25th. Sorry. No. Okay. All right. Great. Well, that was easy. If everyone's okay with Thursday at five thirty, um, super. So let's move on to upcoming meetings and agendas. So on the eleventh in person, we hope to have Paul Tupa or and part with business partner or not in person, um, for a friendly conversation. 
and then um, hopefully update on marijuana regulation. Um, what else? Oh, maybe a draft of the um, liquor license application supplement and uh, maybe something else on um, Delta eight and Delta nine. Um, anything else? Was there anything else? I do know that um, Mexicolito has departed their Kellogg Ave location um, right behind the Unitarian Church there. They will be, um, they have bought Cisco's Cafe in the North Amherst and they will be oh. taking that over as Mexicolito. So they will be doing a transfer application to um, to transfer their license to their new entity, uh, okay. but they have not submitted a full application yet. So okay. Right. I don't and think that would be on for the 11th, but. Okay. And did, um, just following up, up on that, um, did Garcia's ever submit a change of manager application? They did. They did submit a they partial did. one, yeah. A partial one. Okay. All right. Um, and then... the, the Mexicalito, I was there and, and talked about this. And at that time, it was a couple of months ago, they expressed the intention of having a brick oven pizzeria in that location right did you hear anything about that steve i believe they have i have heard yeah they have um, definitely vacated that premises okay all right permanently so got it okay and then oh and then uh maybe i don't know if it's important but the west street cafe we talked about that a little bit on the phone yes i don't know um i don't know of any uh really what their status is okay all right. So um, it just they had a common victualers license two years ago and never opened. So it's yeah, um, sort of mysterious. Um, OK, is there anything else that we were going to put on? Hopefully we'll have the letters out. I will to, uh, seek yeah. to send those out tomorrow. OK, super. Um, great. And if, uh, anything else? For upcoming meetings and agendas. Nope. Okay. Um, topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. Any topics from anyone? No? Great. Well, I guess, is there a motion to adjourn? So, so moved. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> As are ready to like leave. Jeopardy. I know. <laughs> 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 Who is doing that? uh dylan made the motion we'll, we'll, we'll keep it easy copy and paste and doug made the second <laughs> and we'll take a vote hallie aye uh gaston aye doug doug aye. oh i and dylan aye. aye oh okay um and i say aye so that's five to zero we're adjourned at 601 p.m Bye, everybody. Thank you. See you on the 11th in person and have a good weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Steve.